All right, so no actual reaction to Captain America 4. I was like, I ended up seeing the trailer, and then when I went to see um, Deadpool, I ended up seeing the trailer again. So I'm not going to come over here and fake a uh, reaction or anything like that for you. But we'll give you my thoughts about it. Now, I was like, in the past, I basically wasn't down for this Captain America, to be honest. I was like, basically because I'm like, you're already Falcon, you already have a assigned character, so therefore, I was like, I'm not down with basically now we over here giving you a mantle of another character, and that's how I am. I was like, not nothing to do with him not having superpowers or, or being anything like that, it's really just because I'm like, you already had a character, I was like, why can't we just, like, you're just the new, you're just your character just make you a top person type thing um i always i always feel i just feel like it's cheap i was like especially like you like in the movie and especially in the movie way because i'm just like like it like comments you can you would dole out enough stuff in order to justify it a lot more than on t tv and movie where it's like you only got this amount of time to try to really explain it now the tv show did it do really a good job at that no um, the TV show was good, um, but it wasn't as good as what it could have been. I was like, um, but I guess for the purposes of it, that him being Captain America, I was like, it it did it did a good job it was probably going to do. But so for the longest, I was like, yo, he Captain Falcon or whatever. Not, and I was like, yeah, I know that could be disrespectful, but at the same time, I'm just like, yeah, because that was you was because you was Falcon for nearly a decade. If not longer, you was Falcon, and now you want to go over here and change your name on us because what? Because you got a shield, you still use the shield to turn into a Falcon shield, whatever you want to call it. I was like, hey, somebody else could come up with a mantle of Captain America or whatever like that. Because now they got the kid in this movie going to be, he's going to be Falcon. And it's like, okay, all right, whatever. Um, neither here nor there. The movie itself looks great. The trailer looks great. The reason, the everything behind it, they they made it really Winter Soldier like Captain America Winter Soldier, um, and that's first of all I think they're the route to go. Yes, go ahead and try to go the route of one of the best movies. Don't try to go like the first one where it could be all patriotic. No, 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 no. First of all, he like like because he's been Falcon, he's been in the MCU too long. That it's like cool. We could just jump straight. I was like, jump straight into stuff. People are, we already know him. He already has done stuff. He's established amongst the world. People, yeah, no, we just jump straight through things. And that's why I was like, I, from Isaiah, I was like, I like it from like incorporating Isaiah Bradley in here, being like, you know, where there's going to have to be something between him and Ross's character because you know there got to be with him being hidden for so long and whatnot that he wants to basically be like, yeah, I'm going to shoot the president. That's what I'm going to do. And then, of course, Captain America and even to find out what's going on. Um, I was like, so I was like, that, it looks like they're going to add uh, Timu, well not Timu, Timoth, whatever, that look, that, that, that big ass Celestial from Eternals, I'm over here trying, trying to shop like a billionaire with this. Um, yeah, it looks like it adds that in there. Um, I wouldn't doubt if we don't get uh, Sharon in here from uh, being the, what is it, the power power broker or whatever I was like cause I, like, I feel like they're gonna try to tie a lot of, like a lot of those ends up um we, I don't know if we'll get a, a, a Zemo in here I was like I know that Thunderbolt so I was like he probably won't be in the disc just like Winter Soldier won't either which I mean I was like with Captain America and his new Falcon I think it should just be them in this movie um I was like I mean yes yeah, maybe if you run by somebody else that's different uh, maybe if you get like another small player in this or whatever, like you know, like if it's one of those young Avenger type people or whatever, maybe then uh, I don't think Hawkeye would be a bad a bad pickup in this one either. But I do think that you need to, that if you're going to solidify him as Captain America, that you basically have him in this movie and him trying to figure out alone, uh, figuring out what's going on, what's the reason behind everything. Ross turns into the Red Hulk. That's obviously going to play a part of it. Uh, I think we're going to probably get that earlier than we think. Um, 
I, I think that this, I think the, the way this movie look, it looks like we're going to probably get like 30 minutes of some chill stuff and then I think the movie's going to hit and run like yes in between there there'll probably be some low points or whatever and I, I was like I feel like it's going to be serious jokes you know what I'm saying where it's just like it's the joke that's like it's not the ha 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 the whole crowd laugh it's the kind of oh you you trying to tell some truth in here while covering up with some funny um you know, and plus, Anthony Mackie sort of does that anyway with a lot of his jokes. A lot of his jokes are more of a monotone, like, straight face type of jokes. So, I see that in that. I was like, but I think if you're going to solidify this and try to make him the Captain America, you, this is the best. This is this is how you have to go. You have to try to knock it out the park with this movie, with everything from the, uh, the espionage, the action, I was like, uh, John, uh, John Cusillo, his character, um, I was like, I think, I think also too that I don't think the whole Red Hulk is necessarily going to go up against Captain America like that. I think he, they will, they will not like they're usually going to get what you're going to get, but I don't think it's going to be too much. And I think that's why, uh, John Cusillo character, uh, service society is still, it's sort of like a regular guy because I was like, I don't think you want to put Captain America, who doesn't have powers, up against somebody that's just oh, like brute force. Because even Captain, even Captain America, Steve Rogers will be over here trying to fight the Hulk and going to get his ass little handed to him. So I think they're going to try to make this a lot more of like, like a thinking man's type of movie, you know, uh, trying to figure things out. I think that's the route they're going to go with, which I'm not mad at. I was like, like I said, it looked like they're going to. I was like, look with the new jetpack with his wings and stuff like that. I was like, it looks cool. I was, I was like, I still kind of want to call him Falcon, but I put it like this: that move, if that move is good, you're gonna be Captain America all day. But if it's if it's okay, you're gonna be Captain Falcon. And then I was like, nah, I still probably call him Captain America. I was like, it's what it is now. We're not gonna get any Steve Rogers. Uh, I think we're just gonna get like word cameos. Like, you know, what they like, they already done said that you ain't no Steve Rogers. And he's like, no, I'm not. And I was like, we're going to get that, but we ain't going to actually get Captain America. I was like, I think that's something that's going to be long down the road. I don't even think they're going to, they don't ever talk about the old Rogers either. So, um, yeah, so I was like, it's, it's going to, I was like, it's a movie that I think that this one can be a win for them if they, I was like, especially if they get it right. Like, especially if they get it right. I was like, because the, the trailer's already a win. I was like, I'm not saying Marvel will be back. That's a little that's a little leap of faith. But getting them back on track. This is what they needed. This is a good I was like, this is a good trailer. Uh I was like the movie don't come out to February. But at the same time I was like, cool, cause I was like, it's enough time between the Deadpool to there to where it's enough it's enough breathing room, but you should be, but you basically come out at the beginning of the year. So I was like, that's also a, a good move. But yeah, no, I was like, I was like, trailer phenomenal, like I said, and nothing else really to say about it. But except for, what do you think about the trailer? What do you think about Captain America Four? What do you think the movie's going to be? All that stuff. Do you have any type of things for me saying he's Captain Falcon? Do you also believe? I kind of like look. My point is it coming at him of sort of saying that because he's it's like it's 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 because he doesn't have any powers because he's black it's, it's because he literally was a character and then you gave him a new character like we all would be i was like if hawkeye just decided to become iron man how would you feel you'd be like no you hawkeye that's how i feel anyway what do you think let me know till then peace i'm out